a motor with an internal resistance of 100 ohms is connected to a 12 volt power supply. It draws 20 milliamps of current. So what back EMF does it produce? To answer this question, we need to figure out the effective voltage across the coil, right? Voltage equals current times resistance. Uh, current is 20 milliamps, resistance is 100 ohms. So by multiplying these together, we can figure out the voltage across the coil. 0.002 amps times 100 ohms gives us 2 volts, right? So we have only 2 volts of voltage across the coil. If our 12 volt power supply is only producing 2 volts, that means there must be a back EMF of 10 volts. So D is the correct answer. Question 14. What is the net energy transformation that takes place in an eddy current braking system? Is it kinetic energy to electrical energy, kinetic energy to heat energy, kinetic energy to magnetic energy, or kinetic energy to potential energy? So let's think about this. We obviously start with kinetic energy because we're starting with something moving and we're ending up with something stopped, right? Now, when the moving wheels of the thing pass through uh, a magnetic field, then eddy currents will be produced that will slow the wheels down, right? So that means we're turning kinetic energy and turning it into electrical energy. But the transformation isn't finished yet. Because these are eddy currents with nowhere else to flow, uh, they dissipate due to the resistance of the metal and become a heat energy. So the net energy transformation, that is the total energy transformation that happens over time, is not kinetic energy into electrical energy, but kinetic energy into heat energy, uh, which by an interesting coincidence is the same transformation as occurs in regular brakes that use friction. Question 15. What is the purpose of laminating the iron core of a transformer? Is it to increase the flux passing through the coils of the transformer, to decrease the weight of the transformer, to decrease the cost of the transformer, or to decrease the eddy currents induced in the transformer? Now the purpose of the iron core itself is to uh, increase the flux passing through the coils of the transformer, right? But that's not what the question is asking. It's saying what is the purpose of laminating the iron core? That is, dividing it into lots of little slices and putting insulators between those slices. The answer, of course, is to decrease the eddy currents induced in the transformer. If we don't have a laminated core, then the eddy currents in the core can be quite large and we can lose a lot of energy that way. If we laminate it, then we don't decrease the magnetic flux passing through it, but we do decrease the potential for eddy currents. So by laminating the core, we can make it a lot more efficient.